Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to modify um, either a 5 bolt or any really any turbo housing to accept a, a V-band. Um, this one's an eBay turbo 5 bolt flange. So what I'm going to have to do is um, weld this hole shut, which I'll probably make a, I'll cut a, you know, a, a plate around the same size of the hole, drop it down, um, weld it, and then grind it flush. And then uh, what I'm going to do is put this V-band on there. Um, this is a 3-inch V-band. Um, this is a cheaper um, V-band. But um, the customer supplied me with this, so I'm just going to I'm just going to run with it. But what I'm going to be end up doing is cleaning up this up really good and then clean everything up. And then and then I'll weld it. Most likely, I'll be welding on the inside because this is um, ideally for these five volt turbo. You should put a two and a half inch band, which I can show you here. And then uh, you can see they fit really good with a two and two and a half inch. But this customer wants a three inch downpipe on his turbo, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this three inch on there. But um. Three inches is a little tricky because, as you can see, how big it is. So you kind of have to put it offset a little bit to get it to work. But it, it will work. Um, I'm going to be welding 304 stainless to uh, cast uh, steel um, exhaust housing here. So what I'm going to be using is a 309 filler, and then I'm going to be TIG welding it. But um, I do heat this up with my just my blowtorch um, I just heat it up until I feel like it's warm enough I'm not sure the temperature but I know people say maybe like five six hundred degrees but um, I've had good luck with just heating them up until they're they're pretty warm and then tack it on and then then weld it and then uh, what I like to do is when I weld it um, these cheaper V man like to warp really bad I mean really any stainless will warp but um, this cheaper one seems like they should warp more. So what I like to do is like, I kind of like stitch weld it. So I weld it maybe like, you know, an inch here and flip it on the other side, weld it here, and then just go around. And then once I get it pretty much just mostly tacked up, I will put the, the other side V-band on it and clamp it down and then to try to keep the heat away from it and then keep it from warping. Okay, the first thing you gotta do is make a plate to get, um, to fill this uh, internal gate hole. So what I've done is I I found a socket that's around the same size, and then it's a little loose, but I want a little gap so I can fill it in with welds. But what I'll do is I'll I'll use this, and then I'll trace it on a piece a piece of um, just mild steel. Um, this is just an eighth inch piece, not not real crazy, but. Um, I've done it in the past and it seems to work, it hasn't really cracked. So what I'm gonna do is take that, trace it, and then just cut it on my, my bandsaw and then and then just finish it with um, an angle grinder, get the right shape, and then I'll tack that in there and and get the V-band on. Alright guys, I got a piece cut out. And then um a piece is just gonna rest in there like that. And what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bevel the top the edge of this. So when when I when I weld it, it has a you know a good bit of penetration. So right now it just fits above the hole. So once I bevel it, um, then it, then I'll tack it on. Oh, there it goes. But anyways, that's what it looks like. And we bevel it. I'll show you what that looks like, and then I'm gonna tack it on. What I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a mag, a magnet, um, like a magnet square. Um, I, feel, I don't know where, where I have it, but I'll, I'll find it, and then I'll, I'll put it across, and then let the piece of a round, you know, plate stick to it, and then I, then I can tack it. But um, let me get that cleaned up, beveled, and I'll show you what that looks like. You guys, I got that piece in there. Um, I just have it lay, laying in there for now. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this 
um, this housing up with, a, with my blowtorch. Um, once you heat it, um, you'll see that uh, it's going to draw a lot of moisture out and then the piece is going to start to rust. And you can see like the moisture coming out of it. But um, I'm just going to heat right here in the air I'm going to be welding. But you can see it's starting to brown up and starting to rust. So what I'll do is I'll heat it up really good, get it nice and dry. And then I'll take some acetone um, and then and a scotch brite pad and I'll just scuff it up and, and then wipe it down with acetone. And um, just get rid of that, that, that rust that, 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 that formed. And you can see, see all the moisture that comes out of there. But you can see how it dries it up. So what I'm just going to do is um, torch this for a while. And then, um, then I'll clean it up and then I'll tack that piece in there. Alright guys, I got my piece heated up. Um, there's my magnet. And then there's my filler piece. Um, let me focus here. But you can see the bevel I have in it. So right now I'm just going to tack it. And then, um, uh, then I'll weld it the whole way around. Alright guys, piece is tacked up. So I'm going to set up and then weld this the whole way around. guys halfway welded just wanted to show you what it looks like um, what's gonna happen with this this piece is it's gonna get ground flush and then the v-band is gonna sit kind of inside it so I'll have to clean it up and then weld across that with the v-band on the inside so this that you know this as long as you got it welded pretty good then you need to grind it anyway so it doesn't have yeah it doesn't have to look perfect I mean I'm not a professional welder or anything I just do it for a hobby um, so, but, you know, the results should look like that, and then I'll, I'll weld it the rest of the way around, ground it down, and then, then I'll get the V-band on, and then I'll show you what it, got, what it looks like. Alright guys, here it is, all, all welded. Um, I welded with, with 309 filler. Um, this is 116 filler, 309L I think it is, um, and then my torch is just a, a Miller torch with a, a Michael Fear, I think a, a Fupa 12 cup, let me zoom in, and then um, 332nd, I think 2% lanthanated tungsten, um, it seems to be work, works out for me for most, most everything I use the weld, I use 2% uh, lanthanated, but there's a result, and let's get on to the V-band. All right, guys. I got this this plate pretty much ground down. Uh, tacked it on the inside, and then um, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap which I'm gonna fill with weld. But I'll weld it on the inside. But I really can't get it anyway without it weld from a because of being a three inch. And then um, outside, um, you see some of this stuff is gonna stick over. So I'm gonna weld where I can. You know over here but other than that you know it, I've had good luck with it holding up for other people that have I done this so far but you can see you can only see certain spots but it's mostly gonna be welded um, I'm gonna put a good bit of weld on the inside just to make sure she's solid but uh, let me get it welded up and then I'll show you what it looks like here it is guys some uh, some of the stitch welding on the inside kind of see it so what I'm going to do is just going to weld there and then skip around until I, I get the whole way around and then uh, I'll throw the clamp on and then, and then run the, the bead on the outside and then, uh, let it cool and then um, a lot of time on these casting you can slow the cool rate down 
I've seen painting people put it, like after they weld it, put it in a bucket of sand, like submerge it, so the, the temperature doesn't drop drastically. Um, so they tend to, they say it tends to crack if, if the temperature drops too fast. But what I, what I usually do is um, once it's welded, I'll, I'll put the torch back on it and then just kind of like feather the, the heat around. So the temperature dropped kind of evenly, but I found that to work. But um, I'm not really a professional or anything, so. But uh, that's what I um, that's what I do. So and then I find that it works out good for me. So, but everybody got their own thing. So it is what it is. But there it is, just all tacked up around the edges, a little stitch weld, like a three quarter of an inch at a time. And I'm gonna get this welded the rest of the way, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, guys, here it is. All welded. Um, for me, jumping around is not super consistent, but I'm not I'm not the best welder either. So, but on the outside, I welded it where I can. You can see, but there it is. So. That's how I modify um, a 5 bolt flange, um, turbo exhaust housing to a V-band. Um, I hope you guys like these videos. Um, give me a comment to see if, uh, if you guys want to see more of these videos or, or not. Um, so make sure if you're not subscribed already, subscribe. And you like little scene, little projects like this. Um, give me a thumbs up, a comment, and then um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.